It's now time for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. This episode of Trivia Tracks is brought to you by Washita Valley Respiratory Care, where you can breathe a little easier. And Beth Smith at Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. One of the greatest tag team wrestlers of all time, Bobby Eaton, was best known as one half of the second incarnation of the Midnight Express under the management of Jim Cornette and teaming with Dennis Condry and later Stan Lane. He also worked with a number of other tag team partners, including Arn Anderson, Coco Beware, Steve Kern, and Lord Stephen Regal. Robert Lee Eaton was born in Huntsville, Alabama on August 14, 1958. A fan of pro wrestling from an early age, Eaton became involved in the sport when he was 13, helping set up wrestling rings. In 1976, at age 17, he debuted in the NWA's Mid-America Territory, losing to Bearcat Wright in his first match. Two years later, he teamed with Lanny Poffo to win the NWA Mid-America Tag Team Championship from Gypsy Joe and Leroy Rochester, who would become even more famous as the Junkyard Dog. Initially a babyface, Eaton subsequently turned heel. When he joined Tojo Yamamoto's group of wrestlers, he then found work in the CWA and Georgia Championship Wrestling until joining Mid-South Wrestling in 1983. That year, a new version of the Midnight Express was formed, consisting of Eaton and Dennis Condry with Jim Cornette as manager. The team was booked in an angle with Mid-South Tag Team Champions Magnum T.A., and Mr. Wrestling 2. They first won the tag team title when Wrestling 2 turned on Magnum, attacking him during the title match and allowing Eaton and Condry to win the title without much opposition. In 1985, the Midnight Express joined Jim Crockett Promotions, where they reignited a feud with the Rock and Roll Express. In 1987, shortly after Stan Lane replaced Dennis Condry, Eaton and Lane became the NWA US Tag Team Title Champions in the first of three times. In 1990, the Midnight Express split up while Bobby Eaton remained with WCW. Later in his career, he worked for Smoky Mountain Wrestling under his old friend Jim Cornette. New Japan Pro Wrestling returned to WCW and finally the independent circuit. Eaton was inducted into the Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Fame in 2009 and the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame in 2019, four years after he retired from wrestling. He passed away on August 4th, 2021, just over a month after the death of his wife Donna and 10 days shy of his 63rd birthday. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me every Monday through Friday morning for Trivia Tracks on Fox Sports Camden 97.1.